I'm working with a lot of people who are planning special events, corporate events, the holidays are coming up, they're looking for ways to motivate their staff and, and recognize their customers. Um, we also meet people all the time that are planning weddings and, and reunions and they come to me asking for referrals. And because I know so many of you plan events or are planning events, but don't plan as many events as we do here at WOMTech Corporate, you may not have some of the experience or some of the knowledge or some of the skills. So um, we're here to not only show you how you can save money by using a certain venue, but also how you can um, have the best event possible um, for your next, for your, for your holiday party or family reunion or whatever it may be. So please welcome Robin. Thank you so much for being here today. Hi, Kathleen. Hi. Great to be here. I'm excited, nervous a little bit. Oh, but you'll be fine, girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> just picture us just sitting down talking like we've okay. done a thousand times. A million. A million times, a million. probably. Robin, tell everybody, look in camera too, and tell everybody who you are and um, what you do. Okay, I'm Robin Simmons. I'm with the Rosen Plaza Hotel. We're located right on International Drive. We're convenient from everywhere, even Alaska. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm um, in the catering department there, associate director of catering. Um, I have the most awesome job of getting, um, getting to help people have really great experiences and great memories in their life um, by helping them with their wedding or their conference or anniversary. Well, you know, I, I wanted to share, because people ask me all the time, why do, you, why do you go back to the Rosen Plaza? Why do you use that hotel? Well, A, because I love you. We have a great relationship, and it doesn't take as much work because you know what we want, and you, you can do it, which is awesome. You. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but also, I choose it for, for a lot of specific reasons, and I think that it's important when you're planning a venue. There's lots of great venues out there. There's country clubs, and there's um, specific reception locations and ceremony locations and hotels, and there's lots of different venues. But when you're planning your, your wedding or your special event, I think it's important to take it in consideration that you can save a lot of money if you choose venues that offer different things, mm -hmm. you know, that are included. And one of the reasons we love your event is you make our events wow people. You know, just this last conference, there were two, you've got two ballrooms, mm -hmm. okay? And one of our members walked into one of the ballrooms, which wasn't decorated. It was set up more like a meeting. And she walked out and she was like, oh man, I thought you didn't decorate this time. <laughs> and I said, no, wait till you see that ballroom. <laughs> and she was blown away. And she looks forward to how we how the decor that we choose and how we set it up each time because it really does create a wowing impression what how can people save money by using your venue like even with a wedding like I just discovered the other day you offer a lot of different things with your wedding packages that can create that wow impression and, and save a save a bride or a client money right uh, well we we pride ourselves on our hotel at being able to um, offer a lot more um, if we are the right fit for you, there are many, many choices out there, but I invite you to come and, and see the Rosen Plaza and see what we can offer you. Um, we add a lot of things, like the decor you're mentioning. That's kind of our specialty, and we like to try and match that to your theme. You know, we've had many conversations about what our theme was going to be for the conference. Um, so that's one of the many things we do. Uh, we can also offer you an amazing staff. They've, they've been there forever and ever. Great service. Um, with your wedding packages, though, what do, what do they include? Because I remember reading, and it was like all this extra stuff that the other venues that my brother and his fiance were looking at didn't include. Well, our wedding packages do include, of course, the ceiling drape, the decor, a lighting package, um, your specialty linens, chair covers, sashes, or shivari chairs, which are a big thing with the brides these days. They love those shivari chairs. Um, and that's pieces. a huge wedding saver because the mm -hmm. shafari chairs, I've priced them before, they're and they're pricey. You get, you know, 150, 200 seats at, at, at 8 to $10, $6 if you get a coupon exactly. <laughs> and can get a good deal, $6 a piece. That can save you $1,200. Like, that's a huge benefit to having the, the wedding or a wedding at your location. And delivery and setup of all these things, uh, you know, that's another added expense that it's included with us. So. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Now, the other thing that I wanted to make sure that we talk about is I know that some people plan events. Like, I just had one of our business consultants plan an event, and this was in, in Boca. This was in South Florida. So um, it wasn't at your hotel, but she planned an event, and she wanted to do a seminar, and she wanted to have vendors. And there's one of our directors is doing that right now. Actually, I told her to give you a call. Remind me to give mm -hmm. you her information. Okay. But she wants to plan a health and wellness fair. And what happens is a lot of times as a business, what they do is they get an idea, and it could be a great idea mm -hmm. to plan a health and wellness fair if you're in the health 
health and wellness industry and then create a way that you can market whatever it is that you're trying to market um, and cover your expenses because you can make money by bringing in other players. That's a good strategy. That's, that's a good concept. But if you're not in the event industry, there are certain things that can happen that can then all of a sudden shift and become a liability for you, you know, become a liability for, for your business. So first I want to talk to them about um, some things that they may not know, that the normal person booking a family reunion somewhere may not know if they don't have someone coordinating it for them. The first is, uh, I know what a BEO is. You know what a BEO is. Can you BEO tell is. them what a BEO <laughs> is? Well, a BEO is kind of a, I guess, an industry term. If someone uh, in your catering department says they're going to prepare your BEO, that is a banquet event order. And they're usually numerous, numerous pages full of all kinds of details. But it's really, really important that your clients um, read every, every single line because we need to know that we've communicated properly and I've got all the details down. Because from there, that BEO goes from me and it funnels down to all of our departments. It's their marching orders for what we need to be sure we have done for you. So times are important, details are important, menus are important. The way the room is set up, it's all going to be in there. And don't take anything lightly. I mean, like, I've caught through the years of us working mm -hmm. together and doing different things, we've added little things like, uh, are there trash cans nearby? You know, right. are, you don't want garbage starting to gather up if your guests are, are, you know, going to the, grabbing a napkin and they don't know what to do with it or whatever. Um, we, we worked out something. One of our attendees at one of our events walked into the room and she pointed something out to me. And mm -hmm. ever since then, on our BEO, it says no onions on the salad. Exactly. She, I and, and you remember that. And I, do, and I never thought about that. It's something so simple. But she said, you know, the the room was so beautiful, but the minute I walked in there, I got this overwhelming smell of onions, mm -hmm. and um, who cares if you take off two onions off of the top of a salad? It was a small detail that totally changed the, the effect of the it event. It a difference to some of the, the people attending, so it's not just our onions, it's, it's any onions. It's any onions, <laughs> any onions, no onions on the salad, put it in your BEO. Um, but it could, be, it could be small little details, yeah. and you do want to make sure you communicate from the time, yeah. from the amount of people, to, to all of those details, which are important. So I do also want to talk about guarantees because I know in weddings, um, like with my brother, because since he's getting married, when you book events, a lot of times people like to go higher because they feel as though, like in his situation, he said, oh, we'll probably have 175, but they didn't write down all the details, so they didn't really know what they were going to have. And it's really important that you t talk to us about guarantees. Well, the guarantee is basically the hotel or the venue, the restaurant, wherever, needs to know how many people we're planning for. From the very beginning, we need to know how many we think it's going to be so we can make sure we have enough space for your event. Um, from there, it's all about the food and the staffing. Um, if you tell me you're going to have 175 people, we need to know that because we're ordering food specifically for it. It's not just there. We're staffing the room specifically for it. We're, we're counting chairs. We're setting up the room. Um, it, if your brother is giving you too high a number, that may not be a good thing for him because you're going to pay for that higher number. Right, exactly. You know? <laughs> I think that's really important. You are going to pay for that higher number, and that can cost you a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're if you're at $125 per person or, you know, whatever it is, you know, depending upon what type of event you're having. You know, the other thing I wanted to make sure that I, I see happen all the time where people um, don't include, they create a budget, mm -hmm. and they see, okay, I can get this meal, and I'm just making up numbers here, but I can get this meal, you know, steak and... Uh, salmon, you know, trio or duo entree for $125 per person. But, and they work that into their budget and they think it's doable, but they don't realize, they don't add in the tax and the gratuity. And right. that can change your price point substantially. Yes, so does. do you find couples and families often having problems like that when booking events? A lot of times they're not aware. They, they think that um, the price, the menu price is the all inclusive. You know, I, I think almost everywhere you're going to have to add that tax and service charge on. Um, it's one of the things I talk to them right up front because it is a, it's a difference. It's quite a difference. Um, and back to the, the guarantee, um, if you also, if you under guarantee, that's not a good thing either because now we're not prepared for you. So. Yeah. You have to be you have to be very <laughs> and I know we have you give an estimate in the beginning and then you stay in if you have a great person that you're working with you'll stay in communication throughout right. the process as reservations start to come in and then you usually have what 48 or 72 hours where you have to give your final number. It's typically 72, 72 with most hours. venues and, and ours is 72. Okay. And at that 72nd hour that's when we actually the chef and all the, the folks who make everything happen for me are getting on the phones and ordering the exact food. And if we have chairs and linens, we're ordering the exact numbers at that point. 
point. So it's very important. Okay. And I hate to see people over guarantee, but under is not good either. Absolutely, so. <laughs> absolutely. So be real with your numbers. Make sure you create an Excel spreadsheet. Make sure you track it diligently and, and do what you need to do. You know, the other thing that, that I know shocks people from time to time and will shock the person that's planning on doing the health and wellness seminar because if they haven't, if they're not watching right now, <laughs> this may shock you. So be prepared before you make the phone call. Um, you have to have a certificate of insurance. And a lot of people try and book vendor venues. You know, Krista just wrote a, a book. She may want to sell her book, and so she may want to have an event where she's doing a seminar and do all of this, but she may not have a certificate of insurance. What is that, and what, what do they need to do? Well, I, I'm not a legal or insurance person by any means, but in our day and age, the time we live in now, everyone needs to be sure that everyone else is covered. Um, it's not just the hotel's responsibility and, anymore. If um, there's a trip and fall or something, it may or may not been our responsibility. Sometimes it's our vendor's equipment and whatnot. So you're going to see, I think, a lot more and more and more. Um, not only is, is the um, planner in a big conference going to be a, a requested a certificate of insurance, but also your vendors, your DJs, your photographers, anyone that you have coming into your property and working on property, the venues and hotels are going to really, really be more and more um, adamant about getting those certificates of insurance. It's protect everyone all the way around now. Absolutely, so. and that's very important. You know, protecting your liability or lowering your liability as much as as much as possible is is an important thing in business for everybody, which which is true. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about: a lot of people don't realize that you can actually save money when booking your events, whether it be a wedding or family reunion or a business event or a seminar or whatever, by not doing it during prime times or doing it um, by not doing it um, during or by doing it during the week instead of prime times. I Sometimes, think that's important. Right. So, mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter if you live in uh, Wisconsin. Where was the wedding that we did? Was it Wisconsin? Uh, Jeff? South Dakota. South Dakota. We did a wedding in the middle of July in South Dakota. Well, newsflash, they don't have air conditioners in South Dakota. <laughs> it, was, it was like 110 degrees that day, and there was no air in the church. So it might have been better to lean towards not doing July. Um, she probably got a, a little bit of a deal. She probably got a good deal in July <laughs> in South Dakota. Exactly. <laughs> um, but maybe lean towards the fall or the mm. spring. So you want to think of the time of the year of your event, depending upon where you're doing it. But you also want to think that, realize that you may be able to save money if you're willing to make everybody sweat. <laughs> like, I don't know. In Florida, what are the better times for, for your business? Well, um, quieter times in general um, are usually September's, October's. Not October, September, August, October. You know, depending on your venue, and I say that because different venues have different markets. Um, mine particularly is near the convention center, so we do a big mix of conference, uh, major convention, and our social groups. Other hotels might be out more toward Disney or toward Universal. Their times of year might differ a little bit when they're busy and when they're not. So you really, once you've decided on your venue, um, you really want to talk to them about, if you can, be flexible in your day, what is the best time? You know. Okay. And when, absolutely when during the get? day of the week, like a lot of weddings mm -hmm. come into town from overseas, and they always get married Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. because true. they can get uh, they can get a better rate um, on those days, which is important. Also, if you book it, if you don't book it out as far, like if you're planning a big event where you're booking it out a year, year mm -hmm. and a half away, you're not going to get as good of a rate as if you book a wedding like the first quarter of 2014 <laughs> and you do it after New Year's. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the day happens to be open. Is that correct? Well, for your smaller events. Um, you know, social events like weddings, you probably, some venues won't even book them that far in advance. It might be nine months or it might be 12 months. Um, yes, the, the shorter term you book an event like that, probably a better deal. You're gonna, if you want to call me today and book a wedding for next week, I can probably work with You'll you. Look up. Okay. Yeah, probably really can. You know? <laughs> That's awesome. If so. it's open, because if it's open, the chances of it not going is, right. is very high. Right. Well, the last thing I want to make sure that we mention is whatever venue that you do, um, be sure that you choose for whatever your event may be. Take into consideration the people who are attending and um, the rain plan. Like I just it's had a, heard of a wedding that was just recently that there was no rain plan. Mm -hmm. And the contract specifically said, should the weather not permit the event, you don't get any money back. You know, So that's a huge gamble for a very important day so you want to make sure that there's a rain plan and um, in a hotel situation there absolutely would be yes, we can always bring you inside if the weather is really bad so yeah okay. nothing worse than 
the bride getting soaking wet on our wedding day. <laughs> you know? poured, 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 poured all day long on, in, for our wedding. And um, we were at Cypress Grove, so it was an outside venue. Mm -hmm. And my rain plan was, it's not going to rain. It never rains in December. So take my advice. It does rain at the times <laughs> you don't want to. And what I learned that day is God told me, honey, you're not in control. <laughs> you may, you may want to try and be, but you're not in control. So I, I appreciate you so much for being here today, Thank Robin. You. Thank you for all you do for our conference. She wants to meet you April 24th, 2014. So come to the Confident Woman Conference and join us because we're going to have a magnificent time and lots of fun. So I'm, I'm just so excited for all of our members and everything that each person can share to each other individually. If you have not been on WOMTech Live and you have something educational that you can share with our membership and with people across the USA, we want to find out who you are. I want to know who you are because I'm booking WOMTech Live guests and speakers. And don't worry, if you're in Alaska, we can Skype you in. So we can make it happen. We can make it work no matter where you're at in the United States. States and we want to connect with you. So if you have an educational topic, email me at info at womtech.com, the topic that you want to consider. I do want to give a big shout out to a very good member, D. Tui. D. Tui, you are the winner of the golf lesson. So woohoo! If you want to do that with me, call me and let's do it together and make that happen. Um, I also want to give a shout out to two magnificent, fabulous directors, Melita Franzen and Deb Walker. Thank you for being on live today and chatting with Tanya on Facebook. And finally, last but definitely not least, a big shout out to our crew here today, Tanya Roller and Jeff Hawkins, my wonderful husband. We hope that we brought some value to you, some education to your life, and we hope to continue to make a difference in your business. Thank you for being here. Have a wonderful month. See you next month. God bless.